Okay, what we have here is a John Bedini circuit that's been slightly modified. It's a two-channel uh, um, simple schoolgirl. It's been modified. Uh, channel one, you can actually turn off two of the three channels. Channel two, all three of them are connected all the time. You can turn off one or two. Uh, just the uh, base current here. These are 10 turn pots. One uh, kilo ohm, 10 turn pots. That's part of the secret to this setup is you gotta have fine uh, adjustments on the uh, base current. You need a 10 turn pot to do that. No ifs, ands, buts about it. The other key is we're resetting the uh, magnetic uh, circuit here, which are the welding rods. We're resetting that with neodymium magnets. If you don't reset that with neodymium magnets, you're going to lose power and efficiency. There's no way, no way around it. What we've got going on is a 24 volt light bulb that's drawing 170 milliamps, and that's the uh, voltage. <clears throat> Originally, we did the numbers; it was over two watts. <clears throat> this is the drive battery. This started out at 12.5 volts. Uh, over an hour and 10 minutes ago. The bike wheel, it's a 20 inch wheel, is running, that's 18 miles. It's been running at 13 to 14, uh, 13 to 15 miles an hour. Okay, there's just no way this thing's gonna run unless it's over unity at that kind of speed and energy use. <clears throat> the, uh, this is the charge battery, it's seven years old. It hasn't been used for about four months it's been sitting here say a uh, 12 amp hour the uh, drive battery again it's been sitting for about four or five months seven amp hours okay so we've got going on here so if you want to do the math let me know if you think we can uh, pull off an over unity claim with this setup I'm going to show you the drawing here I'm going to post this drawing also on my photo bucket account now this is basic John Bendini circuit again this is the key here is R2 is a variable this is a 1k pot 2 watts 10 turns this is the uh, part number here allied you get it from allied that's the part number this is basically a 3 coil unit <clears throat> now this has got <clears throat> 4 coils one for the trigger and 3 for the dry uh, for the power and the other channel has the same thing. Each uh, independent coil has its own trigger. That way you don't have to line these things up. Okay, you're going to be able to see this on the photo bucket. That's the uh, number you're going to be looking for. The only difference, we don't have the, uh, the extra coil on here for... Oh, by the way, that's part of the, the other key here, the magic. That's a full bridge rectifier onto a large, it's, what is it, 680 microfarad, so we got two turns, uh, two coils, that's 1600 turns at number 23 wire, that's again, got the neodymium magnets on there to reset the uh, magnetic core, now you've got three coils on here, one is turned off, you've only got one of these working, that's channel channel 2. The other 1600 turn one right here is going into the full bridge and we're actually taking energy out of this uh, setup here and that's hooked directly right to this battery here. So it's basically self looping that battery. Again like I say we started this thing out at uh, it's an hour and 20 minutes ago. This was 12.5 volts DC. Okay. We'll turn this off so you see it's not it's not on hold. This is the real deal here. And it's been drawing that current for an hour and 20 minutes. <clears throat> now if you hook this battery or this load right here to the coil or right to the drive battery, you're gonna see that that drive battery is gonna drop down very fast. So we're gonna hook this right under the drive battery here. Okay, 
there's the light going here see how fast that thing dropped it's dropping like a rock do we're going to take off the uh, charging circuit real fast and you can see how much faster that drops down with the again with the load on it here There you have it. 